I'm not doing a fucking freeze challenge. Before every show, nigga. <laughs> Mike had us doing the mannequin challenge before we started recording. He told me to start the show, start the show. Are right, we good? All right, we back. Another episode of Club 520 Podcast. I'm the host. My name is DJ Wells. To my left, we got my dog, Bishop Greenleaf. My boy be here out the prairies. How you feeling today? Feeling good, man. Let's get this show started. So season two, you in Black Air Force One? Yeah, Air, the whole show. episode, bro? Yeah. You know, we got a couple of little guests. I might put some shit on. Might put some white ones on. <laughs> Shout out to Sleepy317. God damn it, I appreciate you, Nasty, for fucking with us. Everybody, anybody, if you got some merch, send it. We're going to send it to DJ House. Please, please, That's please. Crazy. I will forward you his address. Contact me on Instagram, Twitter, or the 520 page. We got you. I know your address by heart. <laughs> Just FYI. <laughs> Last but not least, to my right, we got my dog, Young Nacho, Young T. How you what, Young Jeffrey? I'm good, man. I'm chilling. What's up, man? What you, what you got going? You look conflicted, ain't you? Know what I'm saying? Yeah, these was about to though. For real, for real. I added no cap for real. These about to though because I was in a rush. I had to get to practice. But it was like some great news happiness. I'm so torn. I fuck with Milwaukee because we got Dame. I said we, because I, you know, I'm part of the Bucks too. Go crazy, Wallow. But then my boy Drew, he went to the Celtic. I'm a Celtic at heart too. I was there, you know, I had a 10 day. <laughs> Couple. <laughs> yeah, I had like a I had shout a three, out to the Amazon yeah, tent. I had a three, a three month span. Had a little cup of coffee. But I had this is all in the same year. So I'm torn, man. But shout Damn, out to my that was all in the same year. Yeah. I was a champion and a loser all in the same year. Yeah, we are Orlando Jersey at. Yeah. Damn, I did play for them for an hour. I was on their team for an hour. That's crazy. You like Melo on the Hawks. Yeah, why they don't <laughs> send me an Orlando jersey? Jalen, send my jersey up. Man. Hey. But, uh, Gary, make it happen. Yeah, we need get, Teague, Orlando get jersey. To, make sure it's zero. Uh, Not double, a good. double zero. <laughs> yeah, I'll take, I'll take double zero. I ain't tripping. And we ain't started the show here, but I looked and seen Malcolm Brogdon number in Portland was 92. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's definitely not going. <laughs> get this nigga out of here. Yeah, he's not going. He's not going That's to out of pocket. That's got to be one of the worst numbers I've ever seen in my life. And I haven't even seen it yet. Out of pocket. Dennis Robin had number 69. That's crazy. Very fitting. They made him change it, though. <laughs> Dan, yeah. what team was he with when he had that? Probably it should have been with the Bulls. Probably too. the Lakers. I can't remember who he said. I think it might have been <laughs> oh. the Lakers or Dallas. It might have been Dallas. It was Dallas uh, okay. who tried to sign with number 69. If he would have had 69 in Chicago, that would have been crazy. Well, yeah, he's an iconic boy. number for sure. <laughs> and fuck y'all. I'm doing four cups today, motherfuckers. I'm usually double cup, but I'm tired of explaining to myself. So fuck y'all. Four cups it is. That's the first thing they said in the comments. Fuck anything we did or said on the episode. That was like, why they didn't give a fuck? <laughs> so you know what? We rocking with four cups now. Respect yeah, the Zeke also. It's a two cup minimum right here. Sorry. Nah, That's a fact. Nah. Bring your own cups. <laughs> now niggas got rules. <laughs> <laughs> unnecessary cups, bro. One episode, five cups. This is yeah. a fuck ass church. Yeah. You just come as you are. Oh, wait. <laughs> we had enough church talk. Yeah. I, you the bishop, not me. There you go. All right, man. Media day started today. Uh, so that means we get the NBA back. Nobody cares about preseason basketball. But I had a question. I know Josh suspended, but can you play in a preseason game even if you're suspended? Like, I know it doesn't benefit him, but can you do that as a suspended player? I don't know. Uh, How many games he suspended? Uh, he's gone for like 25. Oh, yeah, okay. he, we'll see that nigga maybe December. Fair enough. Yeah, I don't he, know. That's a good question, though. He's going to be gone I mean, for I a minute. I wouldn't play. I don't know if that count against your... <laughs> no, nah, it don't count against his. No. Nah. Yeah, I mean, playing them don't benefit nobody, him so or I them. I wouldn't but, play. You fuck around and get injured. But that's just funny as hell. Yeah, just I a nigga, don't. though. I should. I got to sit down for a couple months. I'm about to go out here and fuck shit up. But that would be very stupid for you to put your all-star guard in terrible hands. Yeah. We starting off shit. Crazy trades happened last week. Obviously, you know what I'm saying. Drew, where he at now? With, with the nice duffel bag on yeah, the floor. Yeah, shout out to my Celtics boy. <laughs> I, you know what's crazy? And he can vouch for this. He not gone, but he he can. I mm -hmm. text as soon as Drew got traded. I text Jason and was like, "Me and we got a group chat. Me him et." And I was like, "Go get Drew." I was like, "You better go get Drew." He was like, "I'm on it." And then when it happened, I was like, damn, I was capping too. I was just wilding, like trying to, and they made that shit happen. I'm like, damn. Nah, that's hard. That's a good fit for him, for sure. They just getting 
they old team back. I feel like to me though, honestly, I just don't see them. They gonna go to the Eastern Conference Finals and I shit. I want Jason Tatum to get a ring. I, who's gonna protect the rim though? I I'm, still got Porzingis and Al Horford. For me, what's crazy about that is I never thought that they could replace Marcus Smart on that team because you know, obviously, on that team, how important he is to that team. Shit. But shit, Drew, that, that perfect. Yeah, no, nah, Drew better than Marcus Smart. Yeah, yeah, and that's not no disrespect. Nah, but shit, I just I don't know. Rab went crazy. The Rob, the Rob Will. I was like, damn, man, they. You know, I they gon' they gonna miss him for sure. I fuck with Rob. I think he's a good player, but he he hurt a lot. True. So I mean, but Porzingis get hurt a lot too. I was gonna say, right. be out that but up, can Porzingis can stay healthy. Oh, they got a right. chance for sure. They still gonna make it. I mean, that's the lineup. I mean, I think everybody wanna see them versus uh Milwaukee, but I mean shit, and we talking about this media day. Dog, they can they are a player away. Yeah. Like, imagine if Boston get a Buddy Hill or another shooter that they could put at that two slot on that team. What do you do? Well, I think they go. That's a big. nasty lineup. I don't want Buddy Hill. They got too the many. Big. They need to get. They need a big, but they need to get my man Peyton Pritchard some PT. Yeah, that little that little boy can hoop. Uh, he definitely can hoop. That little dude, I agree. he got game, bro. No, I, agree I was about sure. to say so. But that little dude can hoop, bro. <laughs> What's the word you looking for, Coach T? <laughs> I was saying my white boy. My white boy can hoop. That Number five. That was my homie. He could nah, hoop. Yeah, I agree, bro. They need, he need a chance, bro. They got a whip low key. I mean, Robert Williams do, like, even though he was hurt. When he played, he make a hell of a difference. Uh, he does, sure. bro. I just feel like they got to go against Milwaukee, and Milwaukee got crazy bigs. They do, but they do. They they got, like, Giannis, that's going to be tough. Giannis, BP, and Brooke <laughs> is a, a tough trio, but they got guards, too. Chris is a dog. He going to be healthy this year. For sure. Dane, we already know. What Top that? 75, and then you got the freak. They got a whip. <laughs> they got a squad. <laughs> they got a squad. <laughs> squad. I, I'm torn. Damn. I won in Milwaukee, so I ain't tripping, but I love my boys at Boston. <laughs> Those are my dogs for real. So I guess so you really tapped in. People don't really know. Y'all really gang gang. Yeah, that's real. my dog. So I. I no, I want to uh, see Boston win the championship. I just know it's, that's a tough hurdle. I don't. Uh, I do, bro. I, I really want. It. I'm not even a Boston fan, but Jason Tatum deserves shit, bro. He's gold. Like, yeah. If he get a chip bro. outside of Ann Elwich, bro, that's my second favorite. If Jason Tatum league. get a chip in Boston, he he the second best Celtic of all time. Third, third, my fault. No fourth. I about to yeah, say, okay, bro. Check steals the ball. He's up there. Who? Havlicek. Boy, if you oh, don't, don't do get that. the nah. fuck. Nah, for real. We we'll disrespect them old niggas on this podcast. Right. Don't. Larry Bird, Bill it's Russell, right. John Havlicek. This nigga, he trying to then get a Jason job. Then Jason Tatum, in the then it'd be Paul Pierce. This nigga trying to get a job in the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> That's telling you the truth. The nigga is. Bro, you good. don't like old players. I wasn't trying to raise my voice today, but come on. I actually do like you old players. You didn't even fucking name Paulie P. You I out of pocket. Paul Pierce. You, Paul Pierce is at the top of the lineage, bro. Over oh, Larry Bird. No, it's Bird. Then Pauly P. Oh, you know, nah. Yeah, you know how I feel about old niggas, but you gotta. They, you they gonna talk about that Bill Russell yeah, shit. Yeah, he disrespected. I really probably should put Bill Russell in front of Larry, but I'm a, I'm gonna rock with Larry because I like this game. But hey, you play basketball, bro. That hurt my heart, bro. What you mean? That's crazy, bro. I can only go off of what you did when you played. I'm sleep on them eleven rings from Bill. I, on, I respect bro. it, but I can't. shit, Will Chamberlain was in the league. Shit, we averaged fifty points and twenty rebounds, and they lost. I, like, what the fuck you want him to do? I also there don't was believe. nothing else for Bill for Will to do. I'm saying, but Will you still lost holes, all kind of shit, bro. I'm saying, but you still lost to Bill Russell though. So real he was doing doubles. something to shit. the real nigga. They had everybody, the best players in the NBA. They did. Obviously not. If he was averaging 50 and 20, <laughs> he was the best player, but they Man. lost. Okay. They wasn't trading for his ass. That, that shit couldn't happen. <laughs> Niggas machine back then. Red R back, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, watch it when the time made me realize that Red R back is probably really a piece of shit. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, uh, Boston. I, thing, bro. That show makes you hate everybody. <laughs> yes, bro. That's why they canceled that shit. It wasn't about the viewership. They was like, nah, y'all got niggas looking crazy on here. Yeah, my nigga ain't. My nigga said. <laughs> what John have to check? Have to check. He was, he was cold, bro. I'm asleep, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so now he, I, I don't disrespect, bro. I, I know you crazy. don't, but that's why we're here. <laughs> yeah, I disrespect. 
Now, if he went two, he could pass. He gonna pass John. But hey, I'm saying right now, right now, nigga. I'm not this saying league, all the time. Jason Tatum will be in the top three if he win a championship for sure. In the league, period. Yeah, in the league. I ain't mad at that statement, but I don't know if it'll be top three. All right, what's the same to top five right now? Jokic, two time MVP. Yeah. Right. Shout out to Yoke. Yeah. Then you got. Or is it three? You got Bron. He passed Bron. Right now, yeah. Okay. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, now, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bron, we know he won yeah. or two all the time. So he, Bron out the top five right now. Oh, For yeah. sure. Respectfully. Okay, so Steph still in the top five? Yes, sir. Where's he at? Uh, I don't know where, but we'll just name five just to just to get five up there. Now I got Steph. Where. I got KD. Yeah, Giannis. Kawhi. Giannis is Kawhi. Nah, Kawhi's not top five. Top ten for sure. I don't mm. know about five. Wow, he got to play just because he was hurt last year. That's all. Mm. Okay, is Joel putting, Embiid Paul George MVP? in my top five? Joel Embiid, the reigning MVP, is not top five in the league. All right. Yeah, DJ out of pocket. He okay. is for sure. Yeah, it's right. not even. That's not even a thing. All right, cool. And beat a Luca. Luca, I'm not. So, I'm saying. I'm saying Luca. Top, okay, so you the five. five. So then that means we kicking. Are we taking Jason or Embiid? And if you asking me, oh, you I'm, taking Jason Tatum or Luca? Because I'm taking Jason Tatum over Luca. Me too. I'm not mad at that take, but for conversation sake, I'll take Luca. I feel like Jason Tatum is the better player, and you can win more with Jason Tatum because obviously it's happened. I think like we haven't seen it with Luca yet, but yeah, bro, he's still cold. Luca just the white James Harden. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad take. It's low key accurate as it's fuck. So accurate. Yeah. I hope people get mad. Be like, oh, we'll go look at what James Harden did. They are the same. They are literally the same exact player. I know we can't say that name on this podcast, but y'all be having James Harden fucked up. Like, he yeah, wasn't nah, killing the Houston yeah, forever, they, dog. They, they wild, I get upset by that they shit. They literally the same got exact James player, Harden. bro. But you you recovered yourself by saying that. I fuck with that. They are. They the same exact player. I agree. They I agree. Who got the ball the whole game? I'm taking Jason Tatum all day, though, bro. Jason Tatum different. Would you have, really have Jason Tatum or Embiid? I'm taking JT. I am, too. I am, too. So I, Jason I think MB might be out of that top five. I mean, respect to the Only MVP, because MB be him. hurt, though. But yeah. I'm, I'm more of a Jason Tatum game so smooth, I'm going to rock with JT. And now, by the side, I've seen Jason Tatum kill in the fucking postseason as a rookie. And he every yeah. time he's in the postseason, even when he's had some struggles, he still fucking yeah. kills. Like, yeah. I like him just because he's more reliable. Yeah, he always going to play. Yeah. Yeah, and that means a lot. Yeah, yeah so. I, I, I fuck with Jason. I'm still, but I, you know, y'all five a little iffy compared to mine. No, well, let's hear it. I got Paul George. I think he's going to have a crazy year this year. You start off with Paul George in your top five? Yep. Okay. I got Paul George. I got Jokic. I got Jason Tatum. I got Steph Curry. And I think Dame going to act a fool this year. I'm not putting Giannis in my top five. Damn. Shout out to Brandon Bill. Your top five is weak as hell. I don't know. I I shouldn't say weak because they are cold players, but it's a little nah, iffy. P P Nah, I, I love P. I think he probably got the prettiest game in the NBA. But nah, K, where P. KD at? He gonna have you know KD the best player in the league to me. You ain't say him. I know, but I think it's just a lot going on in Phoenix. I gotta see. Mm. I gotta see my nigga, Kawhi healthy. My nigga Bradley Bill over there. I don't know. Who gonna average the least amount of points in that team between Bradley KD Bill. Book and Brad Bill? Bradley Bill. I agree. For sure. Um, even though Brad Cole. I Brad Cole. No, nah, Bradley Bill's cold. We ain't even on that. All but. these dudes is cold. They're the most exciting team to me. No. Yeah. Ooh, that's no, tough. No, no, no. Exciting. No, no, no. Cause I I mean, I don't get a kick out of watching Giannis hoop. <laughs> Bradley Bill. ET will appreciate that. Yeah, shout out to ET. We're going to say Evan Turner, that. nigga. That's my guy. Evan Turner, uh, appreciate that. For guy. sure. We we think the same when it comes to that. That's all bad. No pity, Pat. That package is... Pause. It's crazy. <laughs> that's yeah. crazy. No, nah, but you you go on. You're wild. No, no. You're wild. Said, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, probably because I don't call my piece of package. That's why I wasn't thinking that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't follow us. Wow. That's wild, bro. <laughs> no, nah, nah, I just never thought to call it the package. <laughs> It's more the transmission, but nah, for real, on some nah, real no, shit. No, don't say that. No, don't say that. Look, J Man, J Man, say if you come out of prison a mechanic, oh. don't. Shout out to J Man. <laughs> Listen, it don't call it the it transmission. Hit different. It hit different. Don't say. And nobody's buying that cereal. Why does he take that cereal in the places? Did y'all see that nigga dress like whooping. an African? Hey, stop whooping because I, I want some whoops. J Man, no, DJ over whooping. I think. 
I think my man locked up or something, though. I ain't seen him in a minute. He out, he out. Yeah, oh, they over whooping on yeah. my dog. J Bay. Nah, J Bay, for sure. Nah, but seriously, though, bro, I think, seriously, the Phoenix Suns is probably going to be the most exciting team to watch, bro. Up and down basketball, they got rid of Aiden, which I was proud of. You said the most exciting. They why, got the best three. Why in the fuck are the Blazers trying to play Robert Williams and DeAndre Aiden together? Chauncey on bullshit. Yeah, Chauncey, we need to talk about that. Y'all out of pocket. That's Bro, a nasty they just trying to get. They're just trying to get young. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. But nah, for real, I really believe that they got the best trio in the league. Yeah, that's easy. I mean, they got three potential yeah. Hall of Famers. Now, I would like to see them. Who y'all think will win between the Phoenix Suns and Boston Celtics in a seven-game series if that happens? Boston. They they more of a team. Ooh, that's tough. <laughs> they, but, but I could see that. They though. literally have nobody else. Like they have them three, and then shout out to my dogs. I know disrespect J O, Kata, but yeah, they're tough. my guys too. But oh, we talking basketball, bro. Ain't yeah, no feelings I mean, in this shit. We talking Porzingis, Al Horford, Derek White. They. Pretty yeah. proven. Derek White killed last year in the postseason. He's too. a pretty proven player. He's he, nice. He too. killed last year in the postseason. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The ball hit proven. Derek White far. He can hold. Yeah, because because that's crazy. Hey, shout out to bullying him. Him and RG three. Nah, he cut the hair off, bro. Yeah, because the ball hit Derek still, White. It's fire as well. Nah, I'm <laughs> saying his game. Oh, bro. Oh, 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 why are you on that? Because we got clear shit over right here. <laughs> What the fuck is this nigga on, bro? Stop doing that, bro. We got a new audience, bro. That's even funnier because they don't know. <laughs> Shout out to the volume. This is not your regular fucking sports I show. mean, well, I guess pause, but <laughs> Phoenix might be more deep than... See what I'm saying? Hey, the boss. He's doing it on purpose. No, on my mom, I'm not. For real, I'm thinking like, for real, they you might said be. Phoenix got a deeper I mean, roster Boston than... may be more deep than Phoenix. <laughs> yeah. If y'all gonna go off like that, but I'm talking about straight five on five. If they get it going for real, and the players figure out they rose on the Phoenix Suns, I think it'll be a great they don't series, have no bro. Real protection. I was gonna say the problem with getting Nurk. Neither, is neither that. does what's the name, bro. Oh, they do got Nurk, huh? He ain't protecting. Nigga, I mean, granted, I hate that they use that example with LeBron ducking on him because nigga, LeBron ducks on everybody. Yeah, that's, that's not a, a fair thing. He can't nerd. protect the rim. He can't they, stop LeBron. I forgot they got Nurk. Oh, yeah. Nurk, Nurk, decent. Okay, they cool. Yeah, it should be a good. They game. got a better big than Boston. Nurk is better than Horford and Porzingis. Well, oh, I'm sleep on that. Don't ever disrespect a and healthy, a healthy Porzingis. Nurk is durable. Per, when have we seen Porzingis play thirty games? Don't Too ever shy. disrespect Too shy. my boy Al Horford, the Dominican. Man, I know you they did the pick play. and pop with the boss with <laughs> my fucking my reggae red, but <laughs> don't disrespect. Don't disrespect my Dominican. The first bad bunny. <laughs> the don't first. <laughs> He Dominican, bro. I know. Shout out to the Afro Beats. <laughs> next, next, man. Next, bro. Next. Yeah, you go disrespect. Hefe. I ain't, they ain't even the Afro Beats. I'm just fucking with Al. <laughs> Shout out to Al. Al. Al still might not be like, I think Nurk could give Al buckets. Man, fuck no. That 2014 defense ain't there no more. She, he guarded NB last year. I was going to say, he played great last year in the postseason, yeah. especially on D. But. Especially on D. Do we really? F- that's crazy. <laughs> now that's wild. Niggas yeah. in pause there. That's I crazy. Did, okay. It's all right. <laughs> Shout out to Bias. Hey, can I ask y'all a question? Did little, what's the dude that got hurt last year for the Bills? Demar Hamlin. He played, didn't he? No. Oh, I thought he got in yesterday. Did he? Nah, yeah, that bro. was like his first game, official nah, game. I hope not. I swear, I seen him running out. They no. was like, it's his first official game back. He definitely not. Probably dressing. Did he better not been on the field. That nigga, Man, that nigga is I who guarantee. clone Tyrone. It's over with. <laughs> for sure. He a clone? He's who clone Tyrone. For real. <laughs> the real Willie Beaver. <laughs> Keep my nigga safe, dog. <laughs> so but, DeMar Hamlin's a clone. <laughs> it's not the real DeMar. <laughs> they say the Gucci was a clone. I'm going with DeMar Hamlin. <laughs> they say J.B. Fox a clone. They say he got his tattoo in Baker. All right, y'all know how I felt about it. <laughs> J.B. Fox is a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. He played? That's, that's crazy. I mean, look. That wasn't him. We watched him. Di- it said it was August 19th. That's what I'm saying. Why are you returning to practice? Let's see the stats. I think August 19th was a while ago. Yeah, I was going to say, look, let's see the stats. I don't know if he actually played. I know he suited up and shit. No, did he did he record statistics in yesterday's game? DJ, I don't know why you entertain him, Mike. He got the best heart. <laughs> I bet he do. So basically saying he John Q now. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, for <laughs> real. He back. 
Man, listen, I understand it because last year niggas nigga said died. It came back to life, bro. <laughs> they got the best heart. He got That's the best crazy. heart, bro. Yeah, bro. They uh, said the two wasn't supposed to play football ever again last year, and he was damn near out of his rocker, and he's out here fucking killing shit. So killing, right. I guess why not? But that shit was crazy. Yeah. Both two a clone too. Nah, no, that's... bro. He might be clone. Nah, bro. I see him. I see him talking like a black dude on the sideline. <laughs> well, you talk about Carl Anthony Towns' voice changes, so. <laughs> Tua probably got that same. Nah, dude, he was like, man, I, I mess with you, bro. I mess with you, bro. Yeah, I see that to Tyreek Hill. Yeah, yeah, but when he talking his interviews, he don't sound like that. Nah, hey, he, he go it's back to his heritage yeah, yeah, interviews. Yeah, yeah. He showed the orange respect. tribal tattoo. Yeah, yeah, respect. I get it. The but, Tuscaloosa come out on the sidelines. Yeah, 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 I ain't gonna lie. I was like, damn, I like Tua now. Yeah, yeah I, I'm. <laughs> the Bills, some wild niggas playing Mar Hammer. Respect, but they are crazy as hell. That okay. insurance policy is probably OD as fuck. Not I could not sure. imagine like safely get... having that. He played on special teams and he knew My boy got So they put this nigga on special teams? Yeah. They gotta Wait. keep hiding him, DJ. Got to ease him in there. I'm not playing. He got he got a new heart. Like he good. Bro, I don't think he got a new heart. You making that up, bro. They gave him uh um, He still got the best football player to die recently. They gave him his heart. Demar Hamlin probably smoked cigarettes. <laughs> no, he don't got don't. no new heart. Nah, hell no. Nah. He healthy as hell. <laughs> a nigga smoking cigarettes and playing it in the field is crazy. Demar, Demar Hamlin got a square under that helmet, under his ear. <laughs> nah, he, he got the best heart, bro. He got a new heart. All his shit hooked up differently now. Crazy. He got new transmission. Man, he got he Iron Man. <laughs> y'all better go say that transmission. I'm telling That's y'all. That's crazy. J-Man. J- Wait. Jay, J- you Man. just called this nigga Wait. Iron Man? <laughs> J-Man go. Not- <laughs> J-Man go get on y'all, man. Hey, you know what's hey, crazy? Fuck J-Man. <laughs> Shout out to all the hood niggas that turn to YouTube bloggers. I appreciate all them. They oh, be yeah. on Vlad, um, Cam Capone. They, they, they be they going hilarious, bro. <laughs> Hey. Shout out to I watch everyone. J Bay. I, I be locked in. I watch Terrence Gangsta Williams. I watch everybody, bro. That ain't hilarious shit. to me. Hey, you know what's crazy? I love to have y'all on the show because y'all funny. Nah, as pull up. We got space for niggas. Yeah. Nah. I'll tell you what's crazy is that nigga Keith D got on that then Vlad interview yeah, talking this shit. Yeah, going to jail. <laughs> Shout out to Keith D for getting locked up. Man. Clown. Getting locked up as a senior citizen is ass. Man, man they said he got cancer Diddy. too, so he's like, fuck. Oh, yeah. He might as well. Yeah, they say you gonna get Diddy locked up. Yeah, he said. He, he said, on yeah, that. Love, show love. Let me go on that. Uh, I hope they don't lock. I don't hope they don't lock love up, man. Ah, uh, Diddy Teflon. You see, he try to make J Lo take a case. Yeah, he's a wow. Never mind. He's I'm, a legend for that. I'm going out of it. I'm get out of this conversation. Daily on, we like that. Yeah, I, I, we try to get Daily yeah, on party that's team. Crazy. <laughs> We already can't go to the all white party. Now we can't go to Diddy party. Yeah, y'all. Shout I out think to we're still invited to the all white party. Bro, oh, you think so? Bro, go get that relationship together. They bro, fucking with Hold you. on, bro. You gotta, listen, man. <laughs> hey, when you say stuff, you going to have to disclose they, uh, some they, uh, info. They fucking with him. Look, see. No, who, look, who no, look, no little baby picture. <laughs> <laughs> No little baby fish for my nigga to eat. Nah. <laughs> what else happened from sports, man? Let's get our value stuff out the way before I Kuz and Michael Rubin do not sandwich my boy. Yo. Bro, what he on, bro? Like, what he on, bro? <laughs> what anyway, type of request is that? <laughs> let's get back to our sports segment so we can do our requirements for the value. What else oh, we got? <laughs> no, we don't got to do requirements for the value. That's a crazy shout out. Because I saw... I saw that Shannon Sharp <laughs> interview he did last week with yeah. Bridget Ritter. He's out of fucking pocket for that. Shout out to Cole. Oh, I loved it. Hey, volume, if that's what we own, just let us know. Hell we got yeah, a lot I of told y'all. Uh, oh, it's I up. loved it. 36. I mean, how many she had? You see Rick Fox? Yeah. How many she with? She's 35. A, Rick she's Fox a fucking she liar. Beat. Yeah, she definitely got 100. But it's cool. Wow. Damn, if she's the real will, you gonna put her smut on. I ain't gonna like say that. that. I mean, but damn, if she admit to thirty six. She probably got thirty six. I mean, thirty five. Shout out to Twitter. That's called women's math. Rick Fox said, "Yeah, ain't that what J Cole said? Thirty <laughs> five. J Cole was drinking. Nah, he trying to be thirty six. Well, we go off J Cole math. She's about that just number you said. Nigga. Damn, she Malcolm yeah. Brogdon's new number. <laughs> Ninety two. <laughs> 69. Uh, Shout out to Dennis. Damn. Hey, Dennis really buried himself. Imagine if he would have did that with like social media today. That shit would have been crazy. Uh, he'd be the biggest. Yeah. Yeah, he'd be. Because he was flagrant. Yeah, Dennis Rodman fucking crawled so Uzi Vert could run, bro. For sure. He was the first Uzi Vert, for sure. The, <laughs> the wildest, the young thug, all them, bro. That's They got their swag from Dennis Rodman, for that's sure. That's a terrible, that's terrible. It is, bro. No, nah, I mean, stuck. that's where they got it from, for real, for real. Yeah, like. The fact that he played games and didn't care is amazing. 
Bro, the fact that he took the real first PTO and he went to Vegas and they had to send Michael Jordan to go get him is crazy. Yeah, the nigga came back and they was running them sprints, bro. He, he beat won. everybody, bro. Yeah. You're, they sent you're a, unbelievable, bro. They sent a gambling addict to Vegas to get a nigga who was gambling. The Bulls is really out of pocket. That's we need to really know the episode of the last name. Nah, I think that's why I really, I, that's why I fuck with motherfucking like uh, Phil Jackson, bro, because he understood his players, bro. Also, I fuck with Dennis Rodman because. Yeah, you but I'm really saying, didn't though. give a fuck about basketball. <laughs> and he was great. Man, you were great. Yeah, unbelievable athlete. That's, that's what we we'll probably about. never see that again. You never will. Nah, I mean That's one we'll never see. Bro, it's impossible for I a nigga think to old do boy that. boy from the Hornets is trying, but no, they it. about to kick him out. Kai Jones? Yeah. Hey, that nigga is Yeah, let's talk about him. What he on? He high. <laughs> he trying to get free. Do you he, think Kai's on drugs? Or you think on. he being a kid? You think what? A Percocet. I ain't never seen a Percocet, but boy, I don't think a, that. A Perks don't. Really that, that ain't Perk. Shit. Yeah. You ever seen a Perk on Perk Thirty? <laughs> oh, I've seen it. <laughs> I've been on one. I Tell, act like that. How's your night go? <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucking shit. I told you about that transmission, <laughs> bro. You better stop saying that, bro. J Main. They say he came a, out of mechanic. I don't give a fuck about shit, J Main. Yeah, he say he came out of mechanic. <laughs> I ain't never no been to this history. <laughs> He's the real pet boy. <laughs> he keeps talking about them transmissions. I'm the real car ex. <laughs> bro, I'm not. Nope. I swear to God. I, you know, I don't got nothing to do with that. No, no, no. For real. Perk 30s, though. So hell no. Nah. If he's on drugs, he's on some crazy type of drugs. Boy, what are you doing? Acid? No, nah, he ain't be, on bro. acid, bro. He's just wilding, I think, though, for real. He's off that brown. I think he, because we expect NBA players. He's saying like, he on the dog food? Nah, <laughs> he on heroin. The real DJ, pedigree. DJ wilding. He ain't out there. He ain't on the dog food. He ain't out there. How many niggas no say you know on heroin that don't look like it? Well, I'm just saying, though. Nah, he probably, he probably, he's snoring something or something. I yeah, don't I know. think he, I think he got a party pack in him, if anything. He was wild. He be wild enough. But shout out to him, man. Get, that ain't get healthy, man. Get your mind right, man. It's a lot of money to be made. And he actually a good player. That's yeah, what. He's a good athlete. He's yeah, good that's athlete what's crazy. Sure, the Charlotte man. Hornets, they said on Twitter, them niggas need to be on a Rico investigation because everybody on that team but is so pure bullshit. This is why I brought him up. It, it wasn't random. Free Terry, man. Do y'all think? Free Terry. Dennis Rodman didn't have social media. Makai, you know, he does. Do you think if he performed like Dennis Rodman, he would get a pass? Do oh, you? yeah. We know that performance trumps In the everything. league, what you think, bro? No, nah, what he doing is crazy. Dennis Rodman was just really being Dennis Rodman. He was outside. Like, he was just outside, and he's setting up cameras and, like, sweating. Look like he got Vaseline. I don't yeah. know what he... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, he, oh, said, cool, he said, yeah, I fuck a mile. Smile said, nigga, what? Yeah. <laughs> I just got back. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot afford to be fucking with your crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's two miles in it. Well, I said, nah. That's like nah, when a nigga throw you under, under the bridge of the store. You be like, nigga. Like, yeah, I, oh. My shit just got cool. Man, we all was out last night. No, it was we. <laughs> yeah, you. We got a few of them niggas. Oh, my uh, Lord. Yeah. Shout out to them getting that Austin Rivers though. That was funny. Austin Rivers like LaBello needs some help. Yeah. <laughs> hey, just shut the fuck. They got on his ass. <laughs> oh, oh fuck fuck with that. that. That's hard. Hey. Nah, for real. Yeah, go at you, cause man. Watch out, bro. That's my favorite shit. And that's why I think this year gonna probably be one of the best like NBA I like season. That, cause it'd be like niggas low key be like doing that to be like try to you know get their way over there like Absolutely. get a job a little bit Absolutely. they like man shut your ass up nigga he good over here <laughs> they do that shit to Isaiah Thomas that's now. why I love Miles Bridges bro yeah I, I mean I love Miles Bridges I, bro. I, he, he, I hope he you know get everything straight with him shout out to Miles Bridges man. nah for yeah. sure hey Isaiah Thomas anytime he posts under the team shit they be on his ass I'm like man let my nigga cook man shit I, I understand why he doing he, he, he trying to get a job he shit. really love the game he do he, his work ethic is crazy. It is. Oh, I, I hope he get a job. It yeah. might be, it might be over because, uh, like right now to start the season, but he might be able to get a job later in the year. Yeah, for sure. He may, he may, make his his minimum be too high right now. That's yeah. not what you're saying. Yeah. yeah, that's what the fucked up part about the game. Because yeah, people like him deserve to be in the league. John Wall deserve to be in the league. Shout out to John. We can't wait to get you on this motherfucker. Who else deserve to be in a league that's up? And that's what, and speaking on them lines, what's fucked up is they would be the vets for now. Yeah. Like, them niggas just got out of their primes. Like, they yeah. would be the vets for now, but like the league, like, really don't fuck with vets at they the guard don't. position. They don't. They Could don't. Boston or Milwaukee use Dwight? 
I mean, <laughs> sure. I, I guess. I don't know. Y'all don't think so? Why are y'all saying it like that? I mean, he's an all time great. I just don't. I ain't seen. I don't care. I, honestly. I don't know. Hey, man, I seen. <laughs> if, if he go, he look do it. Him. Look how they do him. <laughs> Look how they do the other side. Shout out to Dwight, man. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> what, what's the other side? You know the other side. Boy, he's talking about that. Nah, I'm talking about strictly clarify? basketball. I'm talking strictly basketball, bro. I don't know if he. I don't know if he's still. I think Dwight Howard is all it. time great. I don't know if that make a difference now. Yeah, I don't know if he gonna get to play. Like people like him, that's so great. Yeah, it's hard to have him on the bench. You know what I mean? Like, he yeah. was so great. Like, a player like me, if I was a vet, I can't accept being on the bench anyway. I'll start cracking jokes and shit. I'll make the locker room too funny. So, they they don't need a nigga like me no more. <laughs> yeah. I play too much. Put it that way. But people who was too great, it's hard to look at the end of the bench and you got them sitting. Because they're going to be like, like, how you got this great at the end of the bench? Right. I hear you. Everybody well, sense, ain't humble bro. like Vince Carter either. Like Vince yeah. Carter was a humble, great player. Like man, he would chill out for you, but he still be mad at the end of the bench. Like when I was my last time I played in Atlanta, he still would be mad. I'm like, bench you 42, bro. <laughs> he like, man, they don't sub us in, man. Get this, <laughs> these dudes, man. They don't get it, man. I'm like Vince, bro. You on year 29, bro. <laughs> When I see Vince on NBA TV commentate more than y'all games, I said, yeah. Vince, come on, fam. I'm like, bro, it's year 29, bro. Like, we ain't getting in tonight. Look, it's just. We wore socks in middle school, Vince. We fuck with you. Bro, bro. I wanted your jersey. Bro, I really asked him to sign a jersey. It's some shoes. Like, bro, I wore your shoes the first year, my I, first year of high school. I wore so your Vince, shoes. Vince did 20, right? 20 yeah. plus. Yeah, 20 he did plus. 20. But he was mad that I was with him the year he retired. Oh, okay. Pause it, bro. Yeah. That's all right. Man. Respect to the Teague household. <laughs> I got a question. Y'all, would y'all rather be finessed two times, having two girls pregnant at once, or your country Wayne shit? Ooh. Finesse. Some country Wayne got 10 kids? 10. Yeah, I'm cool. If he didn't have a hella baby mamas, I would take country, but I'd take finesse. He got five baby mamas. Right. But if country had one or two, I would take country's situation. Ten, ten out of one is crazy. I don't care about the kids. It's the baby mamas, bro. <laughs> he can't like all those kids the same. They said he paid 200000 in child support. God bless him. Yeah. Shit. He got five baby mamas, so divide it up. They eating. Oh, they having a great time. For mm. sure. But Shout out to him, though, for being a stand-up guy for that, though. Yeah, because... Because I thought it was a rule. Once you had 10 kids, you ain't had to pay child support no more. I don't think in the end it is. It's over with. You don't got to pay. Yeah, because I... Never mind. Oh, I know my dad. I wouldn't be paying. How about him, Shooter? I wouldn't. If I get eight, I'm going for 10. Like... Nah, for real, you might as well. Yeah, Stand like... I quarter. ain't going to lie. If I get, like, five or six kids, I'm just going to go... I'm going bankrupt. I'm going for 12. 20. The lineage. I'm just going. What's what's OG name? With, like, 25 kids out here? Tony Nah, I'm like him too, but you know, OG out here, uh, got all the kids, uh, used to hoop. Gerald. Oh, yeah, yeah Gerald yeah. Finch. Yeah, I'm being like Gerald. I'm going. Wait, what? Yeah, he, he Jeremy like Finch daddy got like 30 kids. Yeah. Man. Shout out to India, for sure. <laughs> That's Ken <laughs> folk. Nah, for real. Nah, okay. he really do got 30 kids. <laughs> why you shout her up? Nah, Gerald Anderson, that's them my people. No, nah, I'm not saying but why you. Nah, my, you gotta shout the other twenty seven. I don't know. I don't oh. know. No, nah, I don't know a lot of them. Oh. Yeah, nah, Roll nah, the credit nah. shit. Nah, India, <laughs> India, Big Gerald, all nah, them, them my homies though. No, nah. they the oldest out of the bunch. For she real, like a Star Wars opening, it's, nigga. Nah, that's no way I can name those thirty kids. Nigga, he got a five year old. Oh, he's like sixty. Shout out to my boy Justin Keys. Went to Northwest. He got like twenty kids. Damn, do we? Yeah. Wow. That's a lot of birthday parties that I would have to miss. I mean, you could. <laughs> hey, what you buy you for Christmas, though? I swear to God, I'd probably just get a package of socks and just. Nah, bro. But you can't. 20 kids? Busting down the Nike pack on your, socks. I'll be busting on your, them down by 10 packs. It depends on your bankroll. Nigga, any bankroll. That's, that's Man, tough. Man, you could be a billionaire. 20 kids. You still going to be like, damn. You like, probably do your favorites. Yeah. Probably the best. See, that's but then you that's go. Right. Now you bogus. I, I mean, favorites. I'm just telling you, yeah, it is. It's, but you, that's you how it goes. Tell. Yeah. If you got that many, bro, you 20 kids, bro, you got five favorites. I legit wouldn't want 20 brothers and sisters. 19. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, that's a That fact. group chat is insane. But that, 
You beating somebody up, boy. Somebody get boy. That's a bad. Oh, that's a L. When the crew come, oh, yeah. the crew comes, and somebody oh, gotta be available. Especially if y'all, y'all <laughs> if y'all close, Woo. for sure, bro. Yeah, that's tough. Big families are dope. It's a gift and a curse. Yeah, for sure. I mean, my family pretty. It ain't big as your family, but my <laughs> I got a lot of. What's just ten of y'all? Right? Yeah, yeah. But it so didn't go it's on. what five, five, six, and six of us kind of, but. Damn. I grew up with my cousin. Yeah, my family on both sides is huge, so yeah, it's a part of the game. Yeah, I got one older brother. I couldn't imagine having that many siblings. Yeah, I mean, you get used to it, bro. Like, I mean, it is what it is. It ain't bad. I mean, to think now for us to have that many kids at our age and our lifestyles, yes, yeah, it's, it's insane. But back then, bro, that, that was common. That was normal. Yeah. For real. Y'all went to a lot. Y'all went to school with a lot of niggas that had six, seven brothers and sisters, for sure. Hell yeah, Brother. that shit used to be normal. Yeah, yeah. so that ain't... That's we why, look at motherfuckers like, bro, why, bro? Now you tripping. Bro. The reason we say if you got if you got more than five kids now, we like you wilding because most of the time, everybody had kids when they like 18, 19. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So from twenty seven to nineteen, you wild out. <laughs> you was going crazy, <laughs> bitch. Your twenties going crazy. Yeah, you was uh, going nuts. And you probably ain't got no money now. Cause you just went too hard. You can have all the money. You ain't gonna have it. No, nah, you got right. five little miles of feed. But that's what's crazy. Like back in the days, when people be talking about our grandparents did this, and we shouldn't be having to deal with that. They had real families and real love. Girl, your granddaddy had a family down the street. Niggas had all types of different situations back then. So, but yeah. I, I can say, and I ain't you know, I don't want to speak on my personal. Please but, don't. But back then, motherfuckers took care of everybody. Though I ain't gonna lie. So if your granddaddy had a family down, your cousins were straight too. <laughs> but somebody's always a favorite. <laughs> I'm gonna just say that. Yeah, them your step step brothers. <laughs> nah, yeah. them your cousins, bro, because they come out of your grandfather lineage. Yeah, you don't find out to the funeral. Yeah, it's the same thing, nigga. Them is your cousins, them your kin folk, nigga. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I see. <laughs> yeah, it's really step mama. <laughs> They're really your cuz. We got the same bloodline. Nah, my I, grandpa shot yo, them grits and your grandma, nigga. He hit him. He hit my grandma with the other fucking alley oop, too. Nah, <laughs> everybody, everybody did. He used to get taken care of. Yeah, nah, for real, bro. Yeah, that shit is impossible now. Like, nigga, it's a really a real big statistic going on, nigga, now that, like, families are, like, staying together now. Like, they making that a big thing. Like, it's more black daddies involved in their kids' lives now. They ain't staying together. They're just involved in their kids' life. That's what I'm saying. Like, Facts. families just sticking together. Yeah, they just co-parent. At all. Uh, niggas yeah. was... When we was niggas in high wasn't school, doing no parenting. Yeah, nigga, when we was in high school, bro... The real PTO. I, for real, for real, bro, only... Out of my main niggas, bro, only few of them had daddies, bro. That you know was, what's crazy? All my best lives. friends, we all grew up with our fathers and our mothers in the same household. No, that's hard. That was wild. That's when we used to look at each other, we like, how the fuck did this happen? Yeah. And, nah, the and that's still rare, was bro. That's and they rare. all still was crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that doesn't mean anything to me. No, nah, it don't. It don't. <laughs> all of them was still wild. They said they were still fucked up. Yeah, yeah like, it oh, don't mean nothing. Your mama and daddy, y'all still was crazy. Yeah. It'd be some situations like, yeah, mother niggas probably shouldn't have been in the house. Yeah, they probably would have had a better chance. But this should buy some traction. Yeah. And you but, said in the same house, nigga. Y'all yeah. was reared in a bitch. Yeah. For sure. But think me, Hugh, Phil, Lou, Jamar, shit. Yep. Yeah, that, that ain't normal, unfortunately. Keenan basically, because he grew up with a step pop. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah like, nah, that's right. We had a Bub. Bub, yeah. For sure, Shout Bub. Out Bub. Yeah. Shout out to the real OG. That's my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> that's wild, though, when you <laughs> think about it. Yeah, nah, that's real. Damn. They be talking about that shit in the NBA now. They be like, damn, we ain't got no more dogs in the NBA because all these niggas grew up in two parent houses. <laughs> That's crazy. I used to, <laughs> can't say the same. When about I used to NFL. talk shit to people, they're like, you had your mama and your daddy. I used to be like, damn, I did. <laughs> why is that an insult? Yeah. I used to be like, why do y'all want me to feel bad because my parents were cool? <laughs> like, I mean, but you didn't think about that at the time. You were like, yeah. damn. I was like, damn. I That's did. some soft ass shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn. Nigga, go home and see your mama and daddy. <laughs> I'm like, damn, my mama and dad did care. Oh, yeah. My niggas used to call me sport. Like, nigga, I live on 40th Street. we doing well. But, the, but nigga, I, we got problems too. Up, though. Like, it was only me until Marcus was born that grew up with my mom and dad. Like, oh, yeah. yeah you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so that's, that's like, true. This nigga think he, he get treated like that. Oh, nigga, like, you, boy, damn. I used to get the yeah, worst yeah. in high school, nigga. It was bad out my way. I used to tell him, like, my brothers and sister don't got their mom and daddy. Oh, uh, see, I, I just said, <laughs> Anytime you out. explain it, make it back. <laughs> I used to call him, just call Joe. I was like, my brother with his mama. <laughs> 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 nigga, nigga want to fuck up home so bad. <laughs> 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 nigga, mental my sister, daddy, my sister, daddy, little Anderson. What you talking about? <laughs> that 
Why you pulling out family secrets and shit? I used to be rolling when I think of back then. You was like, a kid from Soul Food. <laughs> like, why? Did, I used to be like, why you did were, I think that was a bad thing? Right, you was out of pocket, bro. You was out of pocket. No, I didn't think it was bad. I used to think it was tight because all my friends had that. So that's yeah. all I knew. Like, Yeah. But it was, used to be funny. Niggas like, nigga, you and mom and daddy live together. They go to your games. So like, <laughs> that's crazy, bro. Hey, what's funny about that is, we talk about some parent shit. It's always funny with niggas who like don't take care of their kids be like, shit, I ain't know how to be a father. My daddy wasn't there. <laughs> It's like, nigga, it's the truth, bro. <laughs> bro, you knew somebody else that had a kid, nigga. <laughs> Sometimes niggas don't, bro. Bro, god damn, nigga. Niggas, can't be leaning on me everywhere, nah, nigga. Nah, but you niggas be finding to have a kid and not real. go see him, like not talk to him, not care about him. Niggas all. be so having wild. father figures in jail, bro. That's only that's the first time nigga get a real father figure because every nigga that go to jail bro, like, this jail shit today. No, I'm serious, bro. Nigga go to the <laughs> joint and be like, oh, no, nah, bro, stop talking. You're not Jay allowed Mike. to talk to about transmissions, bro. That's not a part of your lineage. <laughs> no GM. Nah, it's not. <laughs> Shout out to J Man. No, nah, I'm just saying when most niggas go to jail, bro, they get an OG, they yeah. give them the game, and they, you know, help Muslims. them. Muslims. Yeah, they help them. You know, niggas go in there and come out. Yeah, God but damn. I just think you a wild nigga if you just don't want to be in your kids. Like, like. That's crazy. I understand if you got like a baby mom you don't rock with, but the kid, that's wild to me. I mean, me it, personally. Fair enough. Even a baby mama uh, being wild ain't really an excuse. I can understand, but that's really not an excuse either. Yeah, that's just wild to yeah, me. Yeah, because nigga, make it happen. Yeah, like, damn, you really got a kid, bro. And Sometimes it do be hard for niggas to see their kids, bro. For sure. I mean, it's just saying that ain't. You could have a person who just, but I'm saying to not fuck with them at all. I know people who really got kids and like, Oh yeah, we know. Them. I ain't talking. The city is flooded years. with them. Yeah, that's yeah, why. Nigga, they, you might see they both might both be an expo. I'm like, oh damn, what's up, bro? <laughs> see uh, your kid out. Like, hey, what's good? It's crazy. Yeah, that. <laughs> that's crazy. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know what's happening to that lane. Yeah, I'm upset. <laughs> nigga gets to talking too much. Nah, yeah. you got the black Air Force ones on. We do not need that. <laughs> nah. Yeah, I'm upset. Uh, I ain't no snitching. <laughs> so for that two times, y'all taking the two kids at once. Uh, fuck is it. it with the girls he live with? I, I don't know what he got going Hopefully on. Hopefully, it's a boy and a girl. In my that's head, that's what, I, that's what I'll be on. Wow, what? I'm talking, man. <laughs> next. Shout out to the right, kids, man. Oh, nah, bro, you out of pocket, man. Shout out to the his did kids, you, man. Did you see him? His his mixtape when he had on the road. <laughs> I'm not, man. I'm out. I'm out, bro. Yeah, they been wilder today, bro. They wildin' today, bro. Yeah. They wildin' today, bro. Finesse. Shout out to Sada, baby, man. He fuck with the show, Hey, man. shout out to Sada, Detroit's finest. I don't yeah. know. He probably don't want to shout out right after that one. He shout out. <laughs> nah, he be fucking with the show, man. I know he a sports guy. He love that shit, so yeah. Hey, you might see him. Season two, we got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of surprises going on. Shout out to 85 South. We appreciate y'all as well. And on that note, we'll be back next week. Like, share, subscribe, all that good shit. Shout out to the volume. Appreciate y'all. Shout out to the Patreon gang. Be back next week.